Hi. Now, one of the questions I get asked so many times when it comes to solving a trig equation is that why is it that some of the solutions are missing? I hear students say, I've got some of the ones in the answer book, but they seem to have more. And when I quiz them at which solutions they're missing, they often say, well, 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, 360. And as soon as they say that, I realize generally the kind of mistake that they've made. It's very common. And I'll show you how to resolve that problem. Now to demonstrate this, I've got this equation here. Solve 2 sine theta equals tan theta for theta between 0 and 360 degrees inclusive. So if you're solving this, you'd most probably change tan theta into sine theta over cos theta. So if we do that, we would therefore have 2 sine theta equals sine theta divided by cosine theta. Should be familiar with that identity. And then multiply, say, th through both sides by cosine of theta. And you'll end up with 2 sine theta cosine theta equals the sine theta there. Now what I'll do is I'll just carry on down here to demonstrate this. I'll, I'll put this equation down again, this line that we've got. 2 sine theta cos theta equals sine theta. And what you see is that because we've got a sine theta here and a sine theta on this side, you find that students tend to cancel it out. Okay, they divide through both sides by sine theta. And if that's the case, then you've got 2 cos theta equals 1. And if you divide both sides by 2, you end up with the cosine of theta equaling a half. And if you were to solve this, you'd find that from here, it follows that theta would equal 60 degrees and 300 degrees. And these answers would appear as the solutions to this equation, but there's others. And where have they gone? Well, this is the mistake that is made. It's this cancelling out. What you've got to do is to avoid this common error. Dividing out a factor which leads to a solution of the equation. Dividing through, in this case, by sine theta. What happens is you'll lose solutions. So what do we do? Well, at this stage here, what I'd encourage you to do is to do this, okay? And that is to subtract, say, sine theta from both sides. So you're therefore going to have 2 sine theta cosine theta minus the sine theta equals 0. And then, instead of dividing through by sine theta, pull out sine theta as a common factor. So you end up with, therefore, sine theta multiplied by 2 cos theta minus 1 equals 0. And now what we have is either this factor, sine theta, will equal 0, or the other factor, 2 cos theta minus 1, will equal 0. Now from this equation here, rearranging it, we can see that we get cosine of theta equals a half. And we've seen that by solving this, you end up with the results that theta equals 60 degrees and 300 degrees. Where did the other solutions come from? Well, they came from sine theta equaling zero. And these are the solutions that are missed. So if sine theta equals zero, let's just circle this, okay? and just put a note that this is where solutions are lost, okay? Solutions are lost. And solving sine theta equals zero gives us the solutions theta equals zero degrees, 180 degrees, 
and 360 degrees. Now it could be that cosine theta was a common factor in another equation that you're solving. And if that's the case, if cosine theta equals zero and you didn't pull it out as a common factor, you'd lose solutions then. So watch out for this common error, okay? Make sure you do not divide through by a common factor which could be a solution. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea anyway on this problem and uh, hopefully you should be able to avoid it from now on.